Hi and welcome to the fifth of our six uh, index videos, this one regarding Law 5, the negative indices. If you've seen the fourth of our videos, you'll recognise this uh, progression where we've got 2 to the power 5 equaling 32, 2 to the power 4 is 16, 2, to the power 2 cubed is 8, 2 squared 4 and 2 to the power 1 is 0. You'll notice also that as we go down we halve, so it is possible to actually extend our um, our values down, our progression downwards, and you see that in turn the right hand side of the equation is half as we go from there to there and there to there. So it is possible to see that as we go into the negative indices, for instance 2 to the negative 1, we get on 1 on 2 to the power 1. When we go down to 2 to the negative 2, we have 1 on 4, which could be written as 1 on 2 squared. 2 to the negative 3 is 1 on 8, or 1 on 2 cubed and 2 to the negative 4 could be written as 1 on 2 to the power 4. So you'll notice that if we've got a negative indice here, it can be written, written on the right hand side as a positive indice, but only if we put it down in the denominator. So in general, what we can say is that a to the negative n, where we have a negative indice, can be rewritten with a positive indice as long as we put it as the denominator. And so that's a general rule. I'd suggest you stop the video here and copy it down. Moving along now to some examples of how this worked, if we were to simplify or write these with, uh, or rewrite these in a different form, 1 on 3 to the power 2 could be rewritten with a negative indice of 3 to the negative 2. Here, if we've got, in our second problem, if we've got something with the negative indice which is already in the denominator, we can actually swap that up to the numerator, but in doing so we have to change the sign of the indice. So in the first problem we changed that index from a positive 2 to a negative 2 as we moved it from denominator to numerator. Here we'll do the same thing, but the negative 3 changes to a positive 3 as we move from denominator to numerator. Okay, moving on now to our third problem. Here we've got a variety of x's and y's, a's and b's. So Initially what we'll do is we'll see if we can represent them all with positive indices. So I'll retain the x squared and the y to the fourth because I've got positive indices already and I'll keep the a cubed where it is again because it's already got a positive indice. The b to the negative 5 I can rewrite with a positive indice just by bringing it up above the line and I can do the same with the x cubed. Okay, so what was a negative 3 down here in the denominator becomes a positive 3 as I replace it in the numerator. Those, some of you might actually see that in fact we've got two x terms here, so we consolidate them using the first law, which says if we're multiplying things together and they've got the same base, then we can add the indices. So the 2 and the 3 from our x terms will add together. Because the bases aren't the same for the y or the b, I'll just have to leave them as separate terms. So we've now simplified our original expression, firstly by removing the negative indices and secondly by consolidating the x terms. In our final problem here, we've got a to the negative 3 and b to the power of 4. Now b to the power of 4 is fine, we'll keep that as a positive indice and I'll keep it up the top. But I'm going to actually swap the a to the negative 3 down the bottom and I'll just put it out the front for it initially. So by moving it down the bottom, I change the indice from a negative to a positive. The 5 has already got an index of 1, and it's a positive index, so I'm going to leave the 5 down the bottom as well. But the a to the negative 2 can now swap up the top, and I'll change it from negative to a positive. And similarly, the b to the negative 6, having a negative indice, can be moved to the top as well. With a bit of rearrangement and consolidating the b terms, which both have the same base, I'll have a squared b to the power 10, remembering to add those indices when we multiply, and I'll have 5a cubed on the bottom. Again, you can probably see that these a terms can cancel, and so what I will do is I will actually cancel two of my a's, both of them up the top, with two of my a's down the bottom, and it leaves me with b to the power of 10, and 5 times a. And I've simplified my term as far as it will go. Okay, thanks for listening.